Hello folks, it is me, I'm Big and I'm back, and this is Let's Play Tactics Ogre for the PSP. I have returned from my trip to Japan. It was magnificent. Um, I'll be uploading videos regarding that trip in a short while, but before that, let's play some more Tactics Ogre where we left off. So, let us uh, load game. And where is it? That, uh, it's probably here or where is my save file? Hmm. I think it's no. This is one one eight, one one seven. As you've been, you can see, I've been playing a little bit while well, I'm off screen. But yes, this is time for the World Tarot. The World Tarot allows you to move parties between various points in the game's timeline. And these parties are called anchor points, and they are several scattered throughout each chapter of the game. Select the World Tarot from the Warren Report to view the timeline and move to the desired anchor point. Basically, they are all unlocked game features, even if you move to an earlier point in that timeline, refer to the play guide for Warren's report for details. And here we are, back at the Royal City of Heim. Um, we can no longer um, head towards the uh, Hanging Gardens, which is unfortunate. But, um, as you can see, we're nice, um... We could, um, do a couple of things. Like, head to the Bait Fortress, head to each of the Fortress to farm for some stuff. But, um... Um, I think what I'm gonna do now, since, uh, my party is at level 28, or... Mostly 28 and almost... Uh, like most of them are almost 28. I'm gonna do some um, recruitment, and what I mean by that is um, I'm gonna get rid get rid of some characters, um, especially some of these generics, and get rid of some of these um, characters I don't need. And generally, what I'm gonna do is um, is sort out my party a bit. So I'll just show you the results afterwards. Yeah, because I've been doing that. Um. Well, first things first, you're gonna head to uh, the Warren's report and sec check out the new stuff. Like, here's the World Tarot, and here are the anchor point, and this is the um, coda, which is basically the um, the end of this ch chapter. And we could head to various anchor point, like this one. This one is right before we're heading into the Hanging Gardens, so we could do redo the Hanging Gardens. Um, there's one here, you know. Before we, uh, uh, one thing that people are always always tend to uh, tend to do. I'm not sure if it's here or not. Now this is the beginning of chapter four. Yeah, what people tend to do here is they they return to this anchor point and um, just receive mark after mark after mark after mark after mark. So. Uh, um, and that's that's what, how they farm for cash. I could demonstrate that once, but um, um, so where was it? Was it like for example? Um, come on, be nice. There we go. So we we jump to this point. Um, this is right before, uh, right in, right after we rescued the princess. So. What we do is we just head to um, Fight Our Castle and then a cutscene will play that we can skip. We received uh, a princess mark. And when people do this, is that um, uh, they go to, could go to the shops and then they could sell the, the um, princess marks for some money. But it's not a very good. It's It's. One of the worst ways to farm cash because you know you don't get any levels and you know the princess mark are are um, 500 got the pop so you know that's that's one way of doing it but we're not gonna do that what we're gonna do is of course we want to find a more uh, efficient way of farming for stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to load and what I'm gonna show you is what I've done so far while I was away yeah. I've been basically heading into 
um, uh, Kadrik, no, that's just back and forth between um, uh, heading to Kadrika Fortress and leaving into Kadrika Fortress and leaving, etc. And the thing about it is, I've gotten some better items. For example, I've got my um, uh, uh, what is it? I've got some tiger. Uh, I've got myself some ghost blades. Basically, I've got myself some uh, Muso blades from uh, some of these other characters that they that they drop. Uh, now, what what I did was a little bit smarter. I went around, and then I used um, Steven to recruit some newer members. As you can see here, um, these gu these guys, Summerhill, I recruited two ninjas and um, received all their equipment, and recruited two knights and received all their equipment. So right now, our um, army except for maybe for yachts is um, pretty much up there so as you can see we've got the dragon set for uh, most of my guys um, for yachts he will receive his dragon set once he uh, where is it once he levels up one more level which is not a, not very far away um, it's a little bit more damage than Damascus axe but he will receive um, uh, a uh, plus one to dragon uh, add some more addition to Dragonology and you could use um, um, you know dragons will hate me now it's a good time to farm up dragons yeah and Luffy has a rude bow because so of course so I farmed up a rude bow as well basically recruited a uh, in an archer I think yep recruited an archer that held a rude bow um, or yeah, and also recruited another archer that um, equipped a uh, um, one of these exquimilies bow, and I got uh, it was a bit of a pity if I got my um, crescent bow before you know I finished the uh, game a little bit earlier I would have got my crescent bow levels but um, okay and um, as you can see. Still holding on to my brilliant daggers. They're still my best um, weapons so far. But yes, Doggy has his dragon blades. Um, because I've gotten worm scale sleeves and worm scale armors. And look at this. This is this is ridiculous. You know. Damage to Doggy. Look at that. 597. 692 for Biggie, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Cloud has his. Um, Rune, proper runes fencer setup. I've made him, him a little bit heavier, um, just so that he charges up a little bit more um, on his turns. But um, um, uh, Dazzle is a little bit heavier as well, uh, because um, he's been. No, I don't want him to die so much. But yeah, I've been getting some Rosuke armors. Everybody's got their robes on. Uh, robes of gloom for Kodal. Robes of um, Inferno for Ashley here. And uh, pretty much, we're pretty awesome right now. And we're going to just dismiss some of these other characters. Uh, as you can see, I've dismissed all of my generics as well. Um, so, let me just get rid of you guys. Let's see what they say. You had an idea for me from the beginning, didn't you? Yes. Goodbye, D Dristian. Goodbye, Summerhild. How dare you ask me to leave? This fight is as much as mine as it's yours. No, it is not. W Wolf Hilda. Yes. You think only of yourself. What a foul captain you are. Oh. Ah, oh, guilt trip. Victor, the Vic. Yeah. Come the next moonlight. I'd watch my back if I were you. Oh, dear. Ah. Oh. And there goes Vega, the Kunoichi. How dare you ask me to leave? This fight is as just mine as it is yours. Goodbye. And Isabel, goodbye. You know, master my masters of guilt tripping these guys. I'm not really as useless as all of all that, am I? Yes, you are. I just want your equipment. Well, wow, that's noble of you. Goodbye anyway, Walter. Um, okay, and here we are. That's what we're, that's what's left of our party. Um, as you notice, Bert. Uh, Berta, Berta and Obda are gone as well because uh, uh, their stats are nowhere near as good. And as you can notice, Potiti is level 27 now. 
Oh yeah, I've been spending lots of time leveling. And um Yeah, still he needs a lot more points to be able to uh catch up with everyone else, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Get it? That's besides the point. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna travel back in time with the power of love. Oh, I didn't show you something else. Um, uh, the talks, you know, Kingdom Rises, Resistance and Leeds Commons, Princess Vesalia announced her intention to establish Heim as a provisional seat for a throne. Heim is building preparations for Vesalia's coronation. And the Heim conflict basically ends. And the Tigers stir. There's still, um, uh, the Tigers of Burnham. Uh, Pinky Pavel using Vesalia to gain power for himself. You know, there's always conflict everywhere. And it's talking a little bit about the bending of time. So, you know, people are spotting me at different uh, areas. And this is a little bit about the song stress of Omish. And the song stress of Omish is basically a... Uh, mm, a little bit of a side quest. Because if you look through here... Um, the tactics... A little bit. Um, where is it? Um... Uh, whoop, the deuce. Um, world tarot. Yeah, there's the stuff about the chariot tarot, the world tarot, and how there could be inconsistencies. You know, so you could go back and re defeat the enemy. Um, you still have members of your party, even though you didn't have them earlier, and um, and you're still, you know, and there's there's talking about inconsistencies when, for example. Uh, when party members are not present, you know, dismissed, and went back to a point, um, you know, not met, and you joined, and you dismissed them earlier to point B, and we rolled back, and then they joined, yeah, that uh, anchored point uh, travels over, so, uh, if you rolled tarot forward, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a, uh, uh, is present in a party, but it's not going to be in the story, for example. And here's it also uh, an example of when you have a character present in part of the story, but you dismiss them for the party. Yeah. So, and um, I think there's something along the lines of uh, where is it? Uh, new quest episode one. If you go to the songs that you need uh, to be in Port Omish and Canopus and Sir Gildas must be in your party and alive. So that's the thing. So we need um, um, Sir Gildas to be here with us if we need to uh, and, uh, start CODA which we will have H Sir Gildas here with us in CODA uh, but that will have to wait because what we're going to do now is we're going to roll back heading back to time and where are we going to go back I'll tell you in the Next episode, I think. <laughs> oh, that's mean, isn't it? But yeah, it's just a little bit of a um, reintroduction into the game. Short little episode today. And it's me, I'm big, and I'll be back. Yeah. Wow. Um, glad to be back. See you guys. <laughs>